So let me walk you through. Let's go from the top, shall we? Now, the first thing that you see is when you look at the numerator and the denominator, I hope you notice that each of them has a square number you can pull out, right? Mm -hmm. What square number can you see for the numerator? 25. You can see I can pull out the square root of 25. What is 150? It's 25 times? 60. Very good. And it looks like you've done it right because I don't think you can pull any square numbers out of that. So probably 25 is the biggest one. On the denominator, you can do something similar, but it's a different square number. What is it? 16. 16. So I can write this as 16 times 5. Is that okay? You're looking all right. Now, I apologize that I'm going to do this, but I have no space downwards, so I'm just going to keep going. You know not to do this, though. Um, from here, I can go downwards. How do you rewrite the numerator? 5, five, five root, root 6. Root six. Yeah. And the denominator? 4, four root 5. Cool. Now, I've asked you to simplify. Is that simple? Yeah. No. Mm. Wait. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's simpler than it was before. Okay, now half of you, roughly, a bit over half, ha lots of you know that I can do better than this because I can make the denominator rational, not absurd anymore. Okay? So you could, for example, multiply the top and the bottom by something to fix that. I'll talk about that for the people in the front row who have no idea what I'm talking about shortly. But there's actually something else I can do. Can I rewind? Come back. I'm going to do an alternate version of the question. Do it over here. Okay. Oh. Um, Leo, I can't remember if I... Did I start that? I can't remember if I did. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right, here's what I'm going to do instead. Okay. I know it looks a bit unusual that I would do this, but just stay with me. Do you see how if I had given you this instead of the question as it is, there would be a really obvious, easy way to simplify it, wouldn't it? What would you do? You would just divide by 10 on the top and bottom, which gives you 15 over 8, which is great. Can you do anything to simplify 15 over 8? You could make it a, um, a mixed numeral if you wanted, but 15 over 8 is fine. The numbers are as small as they can get. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if anyone noticed. Even though this is thirds, you can do much the same thing if you remember how you split thirds apart. Watch this. Is it not true that the square root of 150 is the square root of 15 times the square root of 10? Do you remember that? We did this under simplifying thirds by multiplying them together. I've just done it in reverse. In the same way, on the denominator, do you agree that I can write that as root 8 times root 10? Is that okay? Well, look now. Just like with normal numbers without thirds, these guys are a common factor on the top of the bottom. So I can just get rid of them. Is that okay? Is that okay? So that leaves me with root 15 over root 8. I guess I'd probably write that as root 15 on 8. I think that's simpler, is it? It's just a single third. I'm done. Okay. Uh, as I will go forward and mention to everyone, I can further simplify by rationalizing the denominator, but half of you don't know how to do that yet. So I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with that. I think that's certainly a big improvement on this. All right, let's have a look at this one. Uh, has someone got an expansion for me? Do you want to give me like the first, help me do the first line, maybe? Um, Arib, do you want to give me some working? All right. Um, uh, should I just tell you the second line? Uh, no, do the first one. Or whatever you did next. Oh, okay. Uh, 3 root 2 plus 18. Good. Minus 4 root 4. Yep. Uh, okay, so Arif's nailed it. Can you see why I've done this, written it the way that I've written it? Why are there two pairs? Where do they come from? It's the distributive law, right? Come in. Hi. Yes, can I Okay, um, who was I think Delage was it you just said? Yep. The distributive law. So what's being distributed? In the first place, this three. This three. He gets distributed to the root two and the six. Do you see that's what gave me this? See that? Yeah. And then in the second place, the minus four root two, don't forget there's a minus sign. That whole thing also gets distributed to the root two and the six. Do you see how it gives you that? Okay. Now, we can tidy this up a little bit. 3 root 2 minus 24 
root 2. Those are like terms, aren't they? So how many root 2s will I be left with? Minus 21 of them. Is that okay? 3 take away 24. Um, what about what's happening in here? I can rewrite this, can't I? Well, how would I rewrite that? That's, um, that is minus 8. Do you agree? Because root 4 is just 2. So it's not actually a third, even though it looks like it's got a square root in it. So 18 minus 8 is 10. Ta-da. Um, you may have written it like this. But those are both fine. They're both the same thing. I've just changed the order a little bit. Okay, are you happy? Yeah? Okay, I'm very interested. Did anyone get the last question? Because I intentionally threw a curveball in there at the end. I don't know if I got it wrong. Yeah, that's okay, but you got an answer? You got an answer? Kate, do you have an answer? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, all right. So here's what I'm going to do. Just like with question one, <laughs> I'm going to show you two ways to do this, okay? When you have a look at it, look at question three, look at question two. Do you see how they're related to each other? Okay. Mm. So what's the first thing that maybe you could do? Expand. I could expand the whole thing, right? So help me out. Let's have a go. X root two plus three X. Do you agree? That's my first pair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the second pair going to look like? Minus, one. Minus root two. Minus three. Minus three equals 1. So far so good? Sure. Okay, now, if you're asked to solve an equation, I've been asking you to solve quite a few equations over the course of this year. So if I've given you loads like this, <coughs> what are you trying to get to? You do lots and lots of steps. What's the final line meant to look like? X equals. Yeah, solve is shorthand for, can you tell me what x is? It'll be some number, and then you can put that back in, and it will, it will work, okay? So what I want, the final line is supposed to be x equals something. Do you agree with that? In other words, see these guys here. There are x's there. I want them on the left. And I want everything else over the other side. Is that okay? So I'm going to get these guys and I'm going to put them on the other side. Watch. I'm going to go x root 2 plus 3x equals. All right. What ends up on the right-hand side? Four. When you add 3 to both sides, four. this becomes 4. Then you add root 2 to both sides, which gives you that. How do you feel? Is that looking okay so far? All right, excellent. Now I need to do one more, well, two more things, maybe. How do I get the x on its own? There's two x's over there. How do I turn them into a 1? This is a skill I haven't asked you to do for a while, so maybe you don't recognize it. See how there's an x on both of those things, yeah. right? Um, Do you see that I can turn two x's into one if I look at those two terms and I factorize? Do you remember factorizing? Do you know how to do factorizing? Factorizing is something like this. You see you've got two numbers, two numbers, and you're like, oh look, both of these are multiples of two. Do you notice that? So I can take out a factor of two. What is left in there, by the way? A plus four. A plus four, very good. And you can double check, you can reverse it, you can expand it, and sure enough, you'll get 2a two two plus 8. Okay? So what do I do over here? What is the common factor in this case? X. It's x. So just like 2 is the common factor over here, I'm going to write the x out the front. When I divide everything by x, Where what gets left behind? Two. How are you feeling so far? I know it looks a bit messy. But as for the things that you've done, you, you know everything that we've done so far. You expanded, then you collected some like terms, and then you factorized. You've done all these before, it's just we're doing it in an unusual way. Okay. Alright, now I'm ready for my last line. What was I trying to do? What's the, what's the end goal? I want to find x. I want to write x equals. So I've got a weird root 2 plus 3 hanging out over here. What do I do to get rid of that? I divide through. I divide through. So there's what used to be on the right hand side. Now, uh, oops, that's a square root. Now I divide, and there's your answer. As I pointed out yesterday to people, you could further rationalize that denominator, but for those of you who don't know how to do that, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, I have solved. Uh, if you wanted to, you could take this, you could input it as a number in your calculator and save it. 
And then you could substitute into here, and then you'd see if you did x minus 1, which is that, times root 2 plus 3, you would get exactly 1. If you want to test it, you can. Could you cancel out the root 2s? Uh, can you cancel out the root 2s? Well, let me ask you this. You get a bit of space here. That's a great question. Can we cancel out the 2s? Um, you can't. Okay. So here's an example. Okay, I'm just trying to compare what's going on. Right now, um, first, I want you to just. This is easy. You can just evaluate these numbers. Right? What's four minus two? two. It's two. What's two plus three? Five. It's five. So we know what this is supposed to be equal to. All right. Let's see what happens if I cancel the twos. Bam, bam. And the is gone. That leaves me with four over three. Question mark. Is that 4 over 3? I don't think so. Okay, so we can't cancel them. When can I cancel? I've done some cancelling on the board. If there's multiplication, I can cancel. Do you remember? Oh, I rubbed it off. That wasn't very helpful. Uh, over here, this will do, right? You see why I can cancel here? Because it's times 10 and times 10. But this is plusing. This is adding. You can't cancel those. You get, you get weird nonsense out here. 